Smith is an extremely funny comedian. He's at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase January 19th through 21st. Please welcome Mike Kaplan, everybody. Mike Kaplan. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. That was a very warm welcome. Sometimes you don't get that in comedy. I was performing once, and the, the host brought me up to the stage. They said, please welcome. He's, uh, he's had his own, what is it, an hour special on Comedy Central? And I was like, it's a, it's a half hour. <laughs> and then somebody in the audience yelled out, you'll get there, buddy. <laughs> nice intro. <laughs> you guys are lovely. I, uh, do me a solid, everybody, is probably the weirdest way a doctor could ask you for a stool sample. <laughs> It's a fun one with words. Great one, everybody. You're doing great. Words are pretty important. Words are really all that separate us from the mimes. <laughs> language is tough. It's hard to learn as a kid. I, I think the hardest language to learn would have been like ancient Egyptian, you know? Because uh, you, today you can sound out sounds by looking at the words, but uh, back then it was hieroglyphics. How do you sound out a picture? They're like, well, it's eyeball, dog, mummy's foot. Oh, see spot run. I got it. There we are. That's... It's hard to be a kid. A lot of their books don't make any sense. The Ugly Duckling, what's that about? Oh, it was a duck who was ugly. And then it grew up and found out it was beautiful, but also a different species. So, <laughs> sort of an M. Night Shyamalan twist there, you know? Like, I don't know how that's supposed to encourage a kid. How does it inspire? Be like, hey, don't cry. Maybe you're not a hairy, ugly child. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna grow up and find out you're a beautiful chimpanzee. What do you think, huh? Before I did comedy, uh, I, was, uh, I worked in a cafe as a hilarious barista. And people would always be telling me, you should be a comedian and let somebody else make my drink better and faster. Uh, sometimes there'd be nothing to do. We'd be hanging around. The boss would come out and say, you got time to lean? It's time to clean. So I'd always say, you got time to rhyme? It's time to die. <laughs> Had some other jobs. I. Uh, Talked to a street musician once, found out that you can make up to $60 an hour being a street musician, or up to $60 a minute robbing a street musician. So, <laughs> a lot of options. I used to want to work for a bisexual, non-governmental organization, you know, a B-I-N-G-O. And that one, that's just letters, everybody, not even whole words. So, we're having fun. I used to live with a girl. We, we didn't subscribe to the traditional gender roles where like the woman cleans things and the man fixes things. So we lived in a house that was broken and dirty. That's... I got a fake number from a girl once. It was the square root of negative one. I was like, lady, that's so irrational. Come on, please, please. Then somebody told me once, they said, you know, that's actually an imaginary number, not a fake number. I'm like, did you just out-nerd me in a math joke? Okay. He was also Jewish, so it was fine. <laughs> they say the Jews are the chosen people, and I was growing up chosen last for kickball frequently, so that makes sense. I know a lot about sports. I know the Super Bowl happens once in a while. And if we're up to me, whenever I see the word Super Bowl, I don't, I'd like to pronounce it Superb Owl. Look, same letters. I like birds. Why not, you know? Who's going to win the Superb Owl this year? You know, it could be the Eagles or the Ravens or the Orioles. Wrong sport. Who cares? Birds. I don't know. The... Seahawks or the Cardinals or the Dolphins, if they're the chicken of the sea caught in the tuna nets, so. I know about sports, I just don't care. Like, if people talk about sports too much, I just zone out in my head. I'm just like, sports, 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 sports. Are we still talking about sports? And at least that is the sports music. You know, I'm not singing the wrong thing. I'm not like, sports, 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 sports. <laughs> That's from a movie. <laughs> I like movies. I wish they would re-release the movie Groundhog Day. Just call it Groundhog Day 2, see what happens. <laughs> People come out all mad. They're like, oh, I see what they did. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much. My name is Mike Kaplan. You guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody.